pro Khalistani separatists have been relentlessly indulging in anti India activities. They are misusing all its state's mercenaries to push in terrorists and provoke anti India sentiments to disrupt peace and harmony in India. Exposing these nefarious agendas of Khalistan, law enforcement officials of India busted a target killing module backed by International Sikh Federation and handlers based abroad with the arrest of its four operatives. Have a look. The support for Khalistan in India has sunk very low. But the militant groups like the Khalistan Liberation Force and Sikhs for Justice have been pushing their agenda hard through various platforms. This has been exposed with the latest arrest of four men with alleged links to pro Khalistani outfits. According to police, the accused were allegedly involved in targeted killings in Punjab at the behest of their handlers abroad and had allegedly received funding from pro Khalistani groups to create an atmosphere of fear in Punjab. The police has identified the accused as Sagar alias Binni, Sunil alias Pehlwan, Jatin alias Rajesh and Surendra. An AK-47 assault rifle and 49 rounds along with three foreign-made pistols have been recovered from their possession. Investigations later revealed that the four accused were in touch with International Sikh Federation, which is based in Pakistan, Gujan Singh alias Janta from Australia, Hardeep Singh Nijar and Arshadeep Singh Dalla from Canada. In the recent farmers' protest, we have seen that there were uh, Khalistan flags and slogans of Khalistan and banners of Khalistan that were coming up. Now, uh, though the mainland uh, of Punjab, uh, there have been, we have not seen of late many uh, uh, many people coming out for openly for Khalistan. But then the very fact that Pakistan is sending uh, arms and ammunition through drones. Uh, into Punjab, they are crossing the IB and coming to Punjab uh, and they are being dropped. And we have also seen that uh, um, there have been arrests made in Sonipat. There was an arrest made uh, where three men were uh, arrested for links with the Khalistan outfit. The foreign countries are fueling this Khalistan movement. They don't want this Khalistan movement to die down and they want this to keep flaring up and they want uh, a free Khalistan from India. Pro Khalistan separatists settled abroad are making repeated attempts to grab the attention of the world Sikh community by indulging into violence. Just few months back, Park backed Khalistan ideologue Gurpant Van Singh Panno of Band Outfit Sikhs for Justice released a video in which he threatened Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and tried to instigate common youth. The likelihood of Khalistan groups receiving funding, support and military training from Pakistan is also significant. As Pakistan for decades has been sponsoring and aiding Khalistani terror organizations on its soil to carry out terror-related activities in India. Indian diaspora has been continuously facing threats from such brainwashed Khalistani sympathizers who are being funded by ISI. The first thing that the security forces uh, should do is um, increase a lot of intelligence. Uh, the intelligence sources uh, uh, should give apt information and they are giving apt information. Uh, immediately taking action against them and uh, giving a big blow to Pakistan because Pakistan uh, is backing these Khalistani uh, terrorists and they are fueling this entire movement and plus also give a very, very loud and a firm uh, a voice to the world to stop fueling any kind of terror activities in the country, may it be Khalistan or may it be uh, any, ter any terror activity in Kashmir. New generation in Punjab has totally rejected pro Khalistani separatist malicious propaganda and has opposed any such move that divides people along with lines of fate. Hence, those supporting Khalistan movement should now understand that it cannot achieve its goal of forming a new separatist Khalistan either through conventional war or through other conspiracies.